Welcome to this Arnold Culliford Knitwear tutorial. Today I'm going to show you our basic method for working one by one helical stripes. This method is used in the first pattern in our new ebook, Something New to Learn About Helical Knitting, and the pattern is called the Bramante Cowl. Helical stripes are fantastic because they allow you to set up completely jogless stripes in the round and you don't have to carry your yarn at the back of the work so you get a totally smooth finish and it's almost like magic to work. The method I'm going to show you today is a method that can be used on any kind of needles when you're working in the round so whether you're working on double pointed needles or a circular or using the magic loop method this method will always work. If you'd like to find out more about something new to learn about helical knitting, then do visit our website acknitwear.co.uk. When you work one row stripes in the round normally, because you have one spiral of stitches, at the beginning and end of the round you reach a point where one stripe in the old colour sits next to a stitch in the new colour and this creates a visual jog line in the knitting. So when you work traditionally you also have to carry your yarn up the inside of the work at the end of the round and so you get a bit of a ridge as well. Working helically sets up multiple spirals of stitches and so every stitch in one colour always sits next to the same colour stitches and so you don't get that visual jog and you never have to carry the work up the wrong side. Here's a sample that's been knitted helically and here's where the dark grey has been introduced, this is where the extra spiral of stitches has been started and it's been ended up at the top here, but apart from the start and end points, if you look at the fabric you'll see that the stitches continue completely smoothly all the way round. There's no jog point at all. It's not that the jog has been minimised, it's that there is no jog whatsoever. If you look on the inside, excuse my ends, if you look on the inside of the knitting there is no point where the yarns have been carried up. It's just completely smooth spirals of stitches. I'm going to show you now how to knit helically to create one by one stripes. We're ready to start working one by one helical stripes. I'm using magic loop method but this method of working helical stripes will work perfectly well on any type of needle that you prefer to use. So I've knitted uh, most of a round in yarn A, I'm just coming to the end of the round and I'm going to join in yarn B ready to knit with um, yarn B next. So I like to knit my ends in as I go so that I have less work to do at the end of the project. So that's all I'm doing here. I'm knitting with yarn A and just catching yarn B at the back of the work. So I've finished my round in yarn A, I'm going to slip my end of the round marker and I'm now going to pick up yarn B that I've joined in at the back of the work and I'm going to knit in yarn B until I've only got three of the yarn A stitches remaining. So I've knitted round with yarn B and I'm coming to my last few stitches of yarn A and this is what we want. We always want to work until we've got just a few stitches in the previous yarn remaining. I use three because I find that easy to scoop up in one movement and I don't work to the end of the round because it allows us to keep the tension more even in all the stitches. When you start knitting with yarn A you want to have this, the needle in the stitch before so that you don't over tighten that previous stitch. So here we are, three stitches remaining in yarn A, we're going to drop yarn B, we're going to slip three stitches and the marker as well because it happens to be there. So we've just slipped them along purlwise and we're going to pick up yarn A ready to work again. 
Now when we're slipping those stitches, we're not slipping them in order to create a slip stitch in the fabric. We're slipping them in order to move along to reach the end of that working yarn. When we start working with a yarn in helical knitting, it's always the stitch the stitches are next to each other. You're not carrying the yarn at the back there. You just you're slipping stitches in order to get back to where you were. So you're leaving those three stitches unworked for the moment and then slipping along to pick up where you were in the previous yarn. And now we've picked up with yarn A, we're now going to knit around until we've only got three stitches in yarn B remaining. So we've knitted round in yarn A and we've got some yarn B stitches remaining and we're going to keep going with yarn A until we've got three stitches in the previous colour left. So we always work, I always work to three stitches. We're then going to drop the yarn we've been knitting with, yarn A, slip these three stitches purlwise from the left needle to the right needle and now you'll see that we're ready to pick up exactly where we were with yarn B and carry on knitting with yarn B. And you can see where I've picked it up and worked with it there. The previous stitch was safely on the needle, so even if I knit quite tightly, I'm not going to over tighten that previous stitch. And that's really all there is to helical knitting. You just keep working round until there are three stitches remaining in the previous colour. Slip those three stitches and swap to your next colour. You can see here this is where I joined in yarn B at the beginning. You will always get that beginning of the spiral where one stitch of yarn B is surrounded by the yarn A stitches. And if you're just working, working a short section of stripes, it might be that you think that that's actually less attractive than the normal jog that you'd get if you worked your one by one stripes in the standard way, and that's fine. Alternatively, you might choose to hide that beginning of the spiral by either snugging it right up next to the rib or using some other edging that would just disguise it a little bit. Or if you're doing a garment project, you might choose to put the beginning of the spiral in a less obvious place in your, in your project. I hope you've got a taste of the magic of one by one helical stripes. The method's really straightforward and I hope you have a lot of fun trying it out on different projects. If you'd like to find out more about helical knitting or any of the other projects that are featured in our ebook, do visit acknitwear.co.uk